and welcome to this week's video. So for this week's video, it's been highly requested for me to do a skincare routine video. So I'm combining in this video both my morning and my nighttime skincare routine. So you'll be able to see both of what I do and some of the products that I use on a daily basis. And then I mention some of the products that I use on a weekly basis. So yeah, anyways, let's get right on into the video. So first thing that I like to do is just kind of rinse my face off with water just to kind of wake myself up. And then I use my Clean and Clear Morning Burst Facial Cleanser. And then I just use my spinny brush and just do that. So with the Clean and Clear Morning Burst, this helps me really wake up and rejuvenate. It gets all the dead skin off my face and it really wakes me up. And I use this a lot when I was in school because it would actually make me have that feeling of like you're actually really awake and you can start your day. And it made me not fall asleep in class. After I do that, I just rinse my face off again with water. So next, I'm going to go in with my Bliss Rose Gold Rescue Soothing Toner Mist for Sensitive Skin. Next, I'm going to be going in with my Tarte Maracuja Sea Brightening Eye Cream. I love how this product really hydrates underneath my eyes a lot when I wake up and it like makes me feel a lot more awake so I definitely like this as well as a good prep for when I do my makeup if I am doing my makeup. Next thing that I like to use is my oil free acne moisturizer in pink grapefruit by Neutrogena. And this really just clears any of my small breakouts. Definitely, um, like, all my hormonal breakouts is what I get on my chin and, like, my nose area. And on my, my whole T-zone. But this has salicylic acid um, for, like, the acne treatment. So I love using this when I'm definitely breaking out. But I just use this on a daily basis as my normal moisturizer. But... I use a little bit more when I'm breaking out. I'm just going to do a few pumps into my hand and then put some on my face and then rub it all in. And I've been using all of the Neutrogena pink grapefruit stuff since like middle school and it actually works really well so I definitely recommend that and then I as well like to combine a little bit of my belief the true cream aqua bomb and I like to take a little bit and put it wherever I feel a little bit dry Which normally, um, my T-zone is pretty dry. Sometimes my cheeks get a little bit dry, but I do have combination skin. So if that kind of helps anyone with, like, how I do my skincare routine, um, I do have combination skin. So sometimes my skin will be dry and then it'll get oily randomly. And also I'll have, like, certain parts of my face that will be dry and then certain parts of my face that get oily. Um, my T-zone tends to be more oily when I'm sweating, but like when I wake up, it tends to be really dry. <clears throat> so we can't forget about lips. So I'm going to be using my Burt's Bees Strawberry Moisturizing Lip Balm. And then last but not least, before I do my makeup and all of that stuff, 
I use my Pixie Skin Treats Sun Mist with Chemical Camellia Tea and Bamboo Extracts. And then this also has a broad spectrum SPF of 30. So definitely use this all the time just so when I'm even going out to like go to my car or you know I don't think I'm going to be out in the sun a lot. I most likely am. So I always like to spray this on, especially during the summer in Florida. It's we always have the sun on us basically. So Okay guys, okay, so I'm starting off my night routine in my pajamas. I just got out of the shower. And first thing that I'm gonna do is actually take off any of my makeup residue which, uh, so I'm using my yes to grapefruit and this is the brightening one and this has vitamin C and it's like glow boosting Next, I'm going to be going in with my Garnier, um, this, this is the Micellar, or Micellar, yeah, Micellar Cleansing Water, and I'm just shaking it up, and then taking a cotton round, and going over my face with this. I'm going to be using my Tatcha Deep Cleanse and then I'm going to be using my little cleanser thing. So now I'm going to be rinsing all of this off. <laughs> Next, I'm going to be going in with my Bliss Rose Gold Rescue Soothing Toner Mist for Sensitive Skin. And then, I'm going to shake it up, and then... And I as well go in with my Milk Tone Up Cream. And I just dab a little bit since I've already used some toner, but in case I missed a few places, I like to put this on as well. So next, I'm going to be going in with my Bliss Hydration Salvation Moisturizing Camila Fish or Face Oil. And I'm just going to take this and put a few drops, one there, one there, one there, and one there, and then I just rub them all in. So on a weekly basis I like to use pore strips and some face masks, clay masks, things like that, as well as some exfoliating stuff. So I'm going to show you some of those. I'm going to be using my Bior strips today, but I also use my Labcoast face masks, which I absolutely love these. Um, I've tried the milk one, the honey one, charcoal, collagen, aloe, the water one. They're all really good and really amazing. I as well like the brand Timeless Beauty Bar. Their face masks are really good along with, I have a ton of you. A 
along with the Super Medic face masks, these ones are really good as well. And then for clay mask, they also make paper masks as well, but it's the Yes Tea brand. I really like to use their clay masks, but I use both the clay mask and their um, paper ones. And then for my exfoliator that I like to use about once a week is my Yes Tea Coconut Ultra Hydrating. And I like to use this on days that I have really, really dry skin. And this has energizing coffee and it's just a two-in-one scrub and cleanser stick. So I'm going to be going in with my Bior Charcoal Pore Strips. And I really like to use these ones on my nose especially. Just because like I have a lot more of those blackheads on my nose. So these actually help get rid of them really, really, really well for me. So I really like to use these. And as this just kind of sits there on my nose, I like to go in with my Tatcha with the water cream. And I just like to use this one for underneath my eyes because those tend to get really dehydrated. So we're going to lift those up. Next, I'm going to be using my Arc. Alker lip balm and I'm just gonna be taking some of this and just rubbing it right onto my lips Hey guys, so thank you guys so much for watching this week's video and I hope you guys enjoyed it If you did, please give it a big thumbs up comment below and subscribe and Definitely hit that post notification bell. I will be trying to post about every day or every weekday over summer so definitely stay tuned for that I'm really trying to put more time into YouTube and create an actual schedule for you guys and creating brand new content so I'm super excited so that is going to be happening so definitely hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future videos that I'm going to be making and then as well leave your like video ideas that you have in the description or in the comment box because who knows, I might end up doing one of the videos that you request me to do. So, yeah. Anyways, I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.